So here we are outside the Lateran Palace and there's some very interesting history about the Lateran Palace because this is where all the popes used to reside and have their meetings even before the Popal area during Constantine where they used to come and meet and discuss affairs before they moved to the Vatican. So here this is an interesting point of history because in the Bible it talks about the transition from pagan Rome to papal Rome and we see this sort of being demonstrated here because this is where they were pre-papal area this hold a very significant place this was their seat before they moved to the Vatican <laughs> So here we are in the Lateran Palace which really is a temple of idolatry. As I walked in the first thing I noticed was how dark and ghastly it is in here. The Lord tells us that we are the children of light but here paints a very different picture. Here we have idols, imagery, lots of false gods being demonstrated here cleverly being labelled as the apostles of Jesus Christ when, none, when they are none other than the pagan gods. And here we see the main shrine where many people are coming to bow down and worship to this temple of idolatry. And right in the middle we see the disc which is again the symbol of sun worship, the sun god. This truly is again none other than paganism idolatry and it scares me how hundreds of people are coming in here thinking there's reverence they're on holy ground when this is satan's ground this is this is just disturbing but again it just shows how true the bible is because the lord warned us about this ellen white speaks about this how rome will rise to power and it's so deceptive because in this era people don't know people think this is God's house, it's God's temple, when it's not, it's paganism. They truly do rule the world. Scary times we are in. here is paganism in its raw form this is actually a mockery of Christ here on the cross here you have the symbol of the woman the mother-child relationship which goes back to Egypt which is pure paganism and here you see the symbols of the Baphomet symbol the two fingers up so what we see here is paganism in its raw form and sadly you see all the people here wanting to touch this thing here thinking this is Jesus, thinking it's sacred when it's none other than pagan idolatry. This is actual satanic and sadly we see thousands of people coming here to worship these idols, these imagery. 
It's a true saying in Revelation 13 when the Lord tells us that all the world wandered after the beast because this is what we are seeing here being in Rome today. Thousands, even millions making pilgrimages to Rome to worship these idols which are really in honour to Satan. Thinking they are worshipping God, Jesus, when they are actually worshipping Satan. How sad it really is. How does it feel being right in front of the B system? Oh, well, it's really. Yeah. How does it feel being right outside the B system? No words. Yeah, I mean, you always see it in videos and now you see it live. It's disturbing. It's real. Mother of Harvest. Oh, yeah. How does it feel being in front of the beast system? Well, it is a bit strange in the middle of this Vatican thing. But it's also interesting to be here once, to see all this kind of blasphemy, if you want to. Okay, so here we are outside the Colosseum, which is in the centre of Rome and it was actually completed by Titus in AD 80 and it was mainly built for entertainment, for sports, for gladiator fights and of course that dreaded Christian persecution. History shows that over a thousand, hundreds of thousands of Christians were actually killed, tortured and murdered as a spectacle here in the Colosseum. And sadly enough, prophecy tells us that history is to be repeated. Ellen White tells in the Great Controversy is that all Rome needs is vantage ground and this has already been given to her. In other words, she has already gained access through the Protestant nation. She is rising to power and soon, very soon, those persecutions will be repeated. Thousands of Christians will once again be persecuted for desiring to honour Christ, for desiring to keep the true Sabbath. This is soon to happen soon and we need to be preparing for this.